Panasonic's Riverfront headquarters incorporates Panasonic full two-way lighting controls to optimize energy efficiency. Let's first look at lighting intent. Full two-way is an addressable network control system. Each switch and control device can be addressed or readdressed to provide individual, zone, or scene lighting. An individual control turns on, off, or dims an individual fixture. A zone turns on, off, or dims multiple fixtures. And a scene is a preset selection of fixtures with varied on, off, and dim levels. For example, presentation mode in a conference room. There are several switch designs and button configurations to choose from. Four different design styles provide a decorative to industrial look. And a single gang switch box can include one, two, three, four, and even eight buttons. Each switch series also includes a dimmer control. So several fixtures may be controlled with different zones and scenes from a relatively small wall print. Full two-way also includes a 24 button LCD touchscreen switch that fits a two gang box and displays three custom screens. And the master switch provides additional monitoring and control of an entire building or campus from a central location. The wireless setting unit is used to read a switch address and then create duplicate switches or change a switch address to optimize lighting in newly allocated spaces. Full two-way also provides occupancy and vacancy sensing. An occupancy sensor detects movement in a range area. In fact, the Panasonic Minor Motion Occupancy Sensor can detect the slightest movement, reducing or eliminating a false off while the space is occupied. Occupancy sensors can also be addressed for individual, zone, or scene lighting. One energy-efficient control method, and also ASHRAE standard, is using a manual switch for on and vacancy sensor for off. So if enough natural light fills the room, the occupant does not have to turn the lights on. But when the lights have been turned on, and if the occupant forgets to manually turn the lights off when leaving, the vacancy sensor will detect no motion and automatically turn the lights off, assuring energy savings. Daylight harvesting is another popular method for controlling lights. Panasonic full two-way photo sensors are placed near windows around the perimeter of the floor. These are step dimmer sensors designed to adjust lighting levels up and down as natural light increases or decreases. The full two-way photo sensor provides step dimming. Lights located near windows where less light energy is required automatically adjust to sunlight while the building's interior lights remain at a higher level. Panasonic's state-of-the-art CMOS sensor for lighting controls combines passive infrared and active pixel imaging sensing. This dual-tech sensor is ideal to reduce or eliminate false-offs in areas where there is little movement or noise. And with the CMOS setting unit, the sensor's detection area can be set to monitor very specific area dimensions. Panasonic's full two-way communication transmits control operation and return status over two 24-volt low-voltage wires. This simple, inexpensive wire communication bus ensures a strong, dedicated communication signal with no interference from outside devices, unlike some wireless systems. The two wires are polarity neutral, meaning that they are interchangeable, so you can't get your wires crossed. And the two-wire bus is topology-free. This means that all full two-way devices can be connected to the two-wire communication bus in any order. Connections can be daisy-chained, star-tapped, or t-tapped. Low-voltage wires, polarity neutral, and topology means fast and easy communication wire installation for the electrical contractor, reducing installation labor cost. With the full two-way communication bus in place, Panasonic's lighting control system sends operation signals to turn on, off, or dim lighting fixtures. The system then sends the lighting fixture status back to the control switch. The red and green indicator LED lights on all switches make it easy to verify lighting status even when the switch or master switch control is remotely located. All Panasonic full two-way panel and field devices are fully encased to protect the printed circuit board and its components, unlike many competitors. The fully encased design ensures extreme long life and durability by protecting components from being knocked out of place and preventing fine construction dust particles from collecting on critical components. Full two-way printed circuit boards are clean the day they are installed and remain clean 10, 20 years later, assuring durability and long life. The full two-way transmission unit contains the system's CPU. The transmission unit is a system-level device used to monitor signals from switches, relays, and external contact inputs. Direct the desired change in the corresponding relays, dimmers, and switch LEDs. This device also stores the settings for the scenes and zone controls. Each transmission unit can monitor and control up to 256 individual circuits. Each of these individual circuits can be grouped into 127 zones and 72 scenes. 
Each individual circuit has its own dimmer level for use with the full two-way dimmer modules. Panasonic relays are an industry standard in North America used by several lighting control manufacturers. And now, the Panasonic Single Pole Lighting Control Relay carries the UL Electronic Ballast Rating, assuring that our relay will perform for all ballast types. With energy savings in mind, each relay is mechanically latching, requiring minimal energy to change the relay state and no energy to maintain the on-off state. This results in low power consumption for operation, thus making the overall system energy efficient. All full two-way relays include a manual override switch with legible on-off status display. This allows easy on-off status recognition and commissioning for contractors. The 0 to 10 volt fluorescent dimmer unit provides dimming control to fluorescent ballasts that accept the 0 to 10 volt DC control voltage. This dimming unit is used in conjunction with a relay to provide on-off control. Each unit can control up to 50 dimming ballast and provides constant dimmer level feedback based on the unit's output. Incandescent dimmer units provide dimming control of 120 volt AC incandescent loads. Two units support dim loads up to 800 watts and 1500 watts. The full two-way astronomical programmable time clock is programmed using the building's site longitude and latitude. Lights can then be scheduled to turn on and off relative to the time of day or to sunrise and sunset throughout the year. To meet LEED and other energy standards, the time clock can be programmed to sweep off all unnecessary lights at the end of the day. For example, interior lights can be scheduled based on business operating hours for weekdays and weekends. And the exterior lights may be set to turn on 15 minutes before sunset and then turn off 15 minutes after sunrise. The astronomical time clock tracks sunrise and sunset throughout the year and even tracks daylight savings time to assure safe exterior lighting is always available. Panasonic's lighting management includes a Panasonic HMI web server. This allows the facility manager to monitor and schedule lighting controls from a central PC. The web server also provides secure access for a Panasonic TuffPad or iPad that provides the facility manager with a convenient mobile device. The HMI also operates as a BACnet gateway and provides control point information that can be read by the building automation system along with other system data such as HVAC, water, security, and fire systems. The Harrison Tech Center building also includes Panasonic full two-way controls along with the Panasonic Modbus TCP. This allows the Harrison building lighting controls to be monitored by the Riverfront facility manager from his central PC or via a mobile device. The Modbus TCP enables a multiple building or campus of buildings to be monitored and controlled by a single web server. For the future, Panasonic is preparing for smart grid connectivity, utilizing technology installed in the Riverfront and Harrison Tech Center buildings. Two programs that utility companies have begun offering their clients are Energy Report and Rebates and Demand Response. Report and rebate programs are commonly brokered by an energy service company, ESCO. The ESCO provides a commercial building client with renovation designs that substantially reduce their building's energy consumption. The reduced energy consumption is measured and reported directly to the utility, which qualifies the client for utility rebates. Energy system renovations include lighting, HVAC, and other electrical appliances and systems. Panasonic Eco Power Meters can be used to measure and store energy usage data. A demand response program allows a utility access to their client's building management system to reduce energy use of certain alliances and systems as previously agreed between the utility and client. For example, during peak periods of energy use, a utility may activate a dimming control that trims down a customer's non-essential lighting by 50%. This load shedding program allows the utility to continue delivering electricity within their capacity to meet the essential needs of all clients. Panasonic Full Two-Way Lighting Controls and Energy Management System has a bright future. Our combined hardware and software provide a complete solution. At Panasonic, we continue to develop advanced lighting control and energy management solutions with the ultimate goal of a better life and a better world for all.